In this video, I want to take a look at something that comes up very, very frequently in my experience, and that is employees on probation. And being dismissed or terminated on probation. So in this video, I want to just take a look at probation generally. Probation generally is a term at the commencement of your employment where your suitability for the job is going to be assessed. So the employer is going to assess the new employee's suitability for the job. They may or may not fit into the general ethos of the organisation. They may or may not be generally good and, and right for the organisation. That's what it's for. That's what the probation period is for, to assess suitability. Typically, an employment contract will have a clause in it which will say, subject to the successful completion of your probation period, you will be employed as a whatever. Now, the probation period may be three months, it may be six months. It may also be extended up to or extendable up to 11 or 12 months. So during that period of time, this is a period of assessing for suitability for the employee or of the employee for the job. During the probation period, there should be one or two reviews at least. In other words, there should be some feedback given to the employee as to how he or she is getting on. An important thing to consider as well or to understand about the probation period is that the full panoply of the disciplinary procedure is unlikely to be available or to be applied. It's also the case that other policies such as the dignity at work policy and the grievance policy or procedure will not be applied in full. In other words, there may be an abbreviated or truncated version of these policies for somebody on probation, but because you're on probation, you may not necessarily get the full benefit of the normal disciplinary procedure, which may apply after you have successfully completed. You need to be aware of that because a lot of employees contact me and say they didn't tell me what I did wrong, they didn't give me the right to appeal, they didn't bring me through the disciplinary procedure. Most employees on probation, most companies on probation will not, I will make it clear in the contract that they will not be brought through the full disciplinary procedure during the probationary period. So be careful about that and you need to understand that. The other thing is that you may have a contract of employment with say a month's notice in it. That's in the ordinary course of events and that's after you've completed your probation. Generally during probation, you will find that the clause in the contract will make provision for termination of the employment with one week's notice during the probation period. So be careful uh, and understand that. The options for employees on probation, because the probation period doesn't last 12 months and because the probation period doesn't exceed rather 12 months and therefore the employee on probation who is dismissed or terminated after three months or six months or nine months or indeed 11 months will not have the necessary 12 month service to obtain the benefit of the Unfair Dismissals Act 1977. That being the case, there are very limited options open to an employee who has been dismissed whilst on probation. Two such options, however, would be one, if the grounds for termination during probation was one of the discriminatory grounds, and there's nine grounds of discrimination. If one of those grounds was or if the termination was founded on one of those discriminatory grounds, then the employee could bring a claim because under the employment equality legislation, the discrimination based legislation, you do not require 12 month service. Another avenue may be under the Protection of Whistleblowers Act of 2000 or Protection of Protected Disclosures Act of 2014. Again, if you're penalised or dismissed for having made a protected disclosure, you don't require or need the full 12 months service. There's no service requirement. Therefore, you could bring a claim if you were fired on probation for having made a protected disclosure. It could be a difficult case to win though if you are unable to prove that 
the reason for your dismissal was the protected disclosure. So, in summary, if you're on probation, it is a period of suitability. The normal full range of procedures and policies will not necessarily apply to you during probation and you are, quite frankly, in a weak enough position when you're on probation. So the options open to you, if you've been dismissed, are limited enough. I've made another couple of videos, one at least, about the options, I believe, open to an employee who has been terminated on probation. You might want to check out that video as well, and there's information on my website, employmentrightsireland.com. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, give us a thumbs up down below and uh, you may be interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you are, just hit the like button below and hit the subscribe button.